welcome to my channel this is take a breath with alexis and i'm alexis and in today's video i'm going to share with all of you my entire disney makeup collection now if you know me you know that i love disney and i really love makeup so it only makes sense that i would collect disney makeup also our producer, director, slash co-star of London is here. She's a little camera shy today because she doesn't have any clothes on. With all of that being said, let's get into this collection. So the first thing that I got was this, which this is a Minnie Mouse uh, collection that was done by Sephora. And this was the first like expensive makeup purchase that I had ever bought and I got a gift card for my high school graduation. That's how long I've had this. And this collection had just came out, so I knew I had to buy it. So this is actually an eyeshadow palette. And the palette looks like this, but the packaging is super cute. You can actually remove these and use this as a clutch. So, yeah, that's super cute. And then that eyeshadow palette came with a collectible lipstick, which is this right here. I've never used this lipstick because there's like a little mini on the on the tube. It has mini and I think it's like her names on there and it's so cute. So I've never used it because I've always wanted to keep it like this. Um, so yeah, it's because of this actual lipstick that I was like, I'm gonna collect Disney makeup. This is the spark that started it all. So I don't know if y'all remember this or if you knew this, but many, many years ago, Disney actually came out with their own line of makeup and it was called Beautifully Disney. It was sold exclusively in the theme parks. Um, it was kind of on the expensive side and you know, that I bought some of it. Parts that I have are this one, which is called Flight and Fantasy. It is Tinkerbell themed. This was the very first one that I bought. And a funny story is, so like seven years ago is actually when I came up with the idea that I wanted to start my YouTube page. So I filmed an entire video about this palette. I did like a makeup look and a review about it filmed it edited it it was ready to go to be uploaded onto my youtube channel and then i completely chickened out and never uploaded it and i didn't get the courage to start my youtube channel again until last year so i'm really glad that i finally took that plunge because i've had so much fun doing this and yeah maybe i will make another look video with this palette i'll show you what the colors look like that's what the colors look like. They weren't super pigmented, if I remember correctly. And they're all glittery. Um, so yeah. Uh, but I used it. The next one from the same line, Beautifully Disney, was this one. And I got this one specifically because you can see Tiana's kind of on the box. And this palette is called L'Amour Mauve. And these are the colors. Whoa. These are the colors of the eyeshadow palette. Uh, so yeah, I'm looking at these now. And I definitely think I'm going to make a video of me um, coming up with a makeup look with these. I think that would be really fun. What do you think? The last eyeshadow palette that I got from this collection, unfortunately, Disney stopped making it. I think because it wasn't selling that great because honestly, the palettes weren't that great. Um, and I figured that they figured it would be more um, cost effective if they collabed with makeup brands rather than making their like own makeup. Um, so that's, I think after they did this, that's when they started doing collabs with like Lorac and ColourPop and e.l.f. and stuff like that. So this is the last, or this is the most recent palette that I bought. It's the Frozen palette. And I think what's really cool about this one is that the palette opens up like this. You know, you can choose which sister you want to do your makeup like. 
And then along with eyeshadow palettes, they also came out with lip glosses, which I have more lip glosses than this from Beautifully Disney. I just can't find them right now. But these are the ones that I got. So this one is called Change Your Fate. And I don't know if you can tell, but that's Merida on there. And then this one is Pucker Up Buttercup. And it is Tiana inspired. And then the last one I have is Pouty, which is Tinkerbell. Well, that's it from Beautifully Disney. The next category I'm gonna go into is makeup, Disney makeup that I got at the drugstore. So let's get into First it. collection that I got of Disney makeup from the drugstore is that there was a collaboration with Walgreens and they came out with these super cute makeup beauty books and they're all under this dare to dream collection and I just had to get these I literally drove around to all the different um, Walgreens in like a 45 minute radius of where I live to get as much of this collection that I could get because it's so pretty and because it had Pocahontas, which if you didn't know by now, she is my favorite Disney princess. This is the first one. And it's really cute because they look like uh, little books and they have even like tutorials, different looks you can do on the inside. And then here's the makeup on the inside. And then I also have uh, Mulan and same thing. There's the eyeshadows that go with that one. And then the last one I have is Ariel. And then these are the eyeshadows that come inside. I also have a lip kit um, that was going with Ariel too. I have a eyeshadow quad that also goes with the Ariel collection. Disney did a Belle inspired collection with Elf actually. And so I got a couple items from that. Uh, here's another beauty book. And this is called Belle, an Enchanted Tell. And then it's kind of got the same setup as the other ones with eyeshadows and blushes and lipsticks in there. And then also came with this eyeshadow compact. And I actually use this one quite a bit. I really like this one. So got these Elsa inspired lashes. They're Demi Wispies by Ardell. And the top ones are pretty standard. Like I think they sell those regularly, but on the bottom they have ones that have like purple strand or lashes in them and they're supposed to enhance brown eyes. So I thought that was super cool. The next set I'm going to go to is just makeup that I have bought in other random places. So let's go. All right, so this is the Ohana eyeshadow palette. I bought this at Hot Topic. I believe like I had some leftover hot cash and I wanted to use it before it expired. So I got this palette. It's super cute because it's Lilo and Stitch themed. I I think I was getting ready to go to Hawaii or something like that. So I was planning on using this on that trip. Uh, the inside is so cute because it has a, <laughs> it has a stitch shaped mirror, which is really cute. And these are the eyeshadow colors, it, which was a really good idea. I tested this before I took it with me on a trip. Come to find out that these eyeshadows are not that pigmented and they are hecka chalky. So um, did not end up taking it on a trip with me and I have not really used it since then, but it's really cute to look at. The last eyeshadow palette that I bought from Hot Topic is this palette. It's the Moana Heart of Tahiti eyeshadow palette. I thought the art on the packaging was super cute. And that's what drew me to it because another thing that you should know about me is that I also really love Moana. And so this is what the inside of the palette look. I will say 
And even though the eyeshadows aren't that great, I do love that Hot Topic puts a mirror in like all of their palettes. So that's super cool. I've actually never used the colors in this. Lastly is this Mickey inspired eyeshadow palette. My mom got this from me. She got this from Target. The mirror is broken, but I've used this palette a couple times and if I'm remembering correctly, I I like this palette. It's not bad. I mean, it's not great, but it's not terrible either. I, so that concludes like drugstore and random stuff. Now we're gonna step into the next category, which is like brand name Disney collections. So let's get into it. So the first Disney collection I bought that was from like a bigger beauty brand would be this Tale as Old as Time um, beauty book, which is by La Rock. This came out when the live action version of Beauty and the Beast came out, and I got it on clearance at um, Nordstrom Rack. This is the inside of it, which I don't know, I hope it's not like blinding you because it is kind of metallic. And I really like this palette. I've actually used it several times. I love these colors, especially like these ones. These are kind of like in my wheelhouse. Also came out with these, are they called lip glosses? Yes. <laughs> these um, lip glosses, which there were five actually, but one of the colors was like way too light for me. I knew I wouldn't be able to use it. So I gave it to my cousin, but here are the other ones. The Lion King palette by Sir John and Luminous. So this came out, there was a whole collection for this. It came out for the live action version of, Lo of Lion King. If you don't know who Sir John is, Sir John is the makeup artist who does Beyonce's makeup. And because Beyonce played not in the live action uh, version of Lion King, it only made sense that her makeup artist would make a collection for the film. These are what the eyeshadows look like. And I will say that I have used this palette several times and these eyeshadows are really nice. And specifically, I love these mattes. Like they're so pretty, they blend out so nicely. So yeah, this was a really nice palette. So this is the Ulta Beauty Black Widow collection. If you haven't watched it already, I did a whole review and lookbook with this makeup palette. I'll put the link in the box below. I also have the Mulan palette, which I did a review and a look book with this palette which I'll put the link to that down below. This next one is super special. So I got the both of the collection sets. This is by ColourPop. From this point on everything will be ColourPop. Uh, this was their collection that they did for Frozen 2 and this is so cute. This is Anna's box and this is so fancy. Like this isn't even like the special PR box like this is just what the set comes in for everybody and then those are the colors I'm actually wearing this eyeshadow palette and this lipstick this lipstick yo this is one of my favorite lipsticks like period it is such a brown girl friendly lipstick oh my goodness I love it but that's the eyeshadow palette this packaging is like so freaking cute and then there's also these uh, glitters here but yeah, let me just stop and show you guys this lipstick. So this lipstick is called Going North. I mean, is that not? This is the lipstick that I'm wearing. Is this not like super pretty? And then here's Elsa. All right, and then this is Elsa's box, which the design is kind of the same. And then this is Elsa's eyeshadow, which I hope you all can see that. I will say that I don't use Elsa's all that often just because a lot of these colors are cool toned and I like to wear warmer tones, but trust me, I have worn this and this is, so, it's so pretty. And then you want to see, since I showed you the other lipstick, I might as well show you this one. These are both cream lipsticks and this is Elsa's and it's more of like a berry color. 
ColourPop has done several collabs with Disney at this point. I've been happy with each and every one of them. And so they did a villains theme collection called Misunderstood. And this is the eyeshadow palette for it. And these are the colors that come with it. Um, out of the three, this is probably the one that I use the, the least just because these are colors, man. These are colors. These are when you like want to make a statement kind of a color. I also, from the Villains Collection, got this ultra glossy lip gloss and it's called Puppies. It's Corella DeVille inspired. And then I got this um, Evil Queen highlighter. It's called the fairest of them all and it's gold. It's the highlight that I'm wearing today, <laughs> if you can appreciate that. But it's the only gold highlighter that I have. It's really pretty. I got some lipsticks for them. So I have Ursula, which this is a matte super dark plum color. I have Cruella, which is a cream uh, like corally red lipstick and then I have Evil Queen which is matte and I can't recall the color so I'm gonna show you <laughs> and this is just what the tubes look like they kind of have all of the symbols from all the villains it's a red and then it's kind of uh, printed on their villain so the next collection is the Midnight Masquerade Collection, which is the second collaboration that Disney did with ColourPop. They have, it's called Disney Designer Collection. And so this was the second line that they did. And this is the eyeshadow palette, which these colors are so pretty. So I have the eyeshadow palette. I also have this really pretty, Tiana inspired blush, which this is called Kissing a Frog. And I'm wearing that blush here. It's super, super pretty, super brown girl friendly. I also have this really cool purple highlighter, which this is Meg inspired. It's called Big Tough Girl. I don't use this one very often, but I wore it once. I had like a berry toned blush on and I put this as the highlight. It was so pretty. So this is Elsmerelda inspired. It's called Court of Miracles and it's a super cute pink um, blush. And there's a little bit of a shimmer in there, which personally I like my blushes to have just a little bit of a shimmer. So with the Midnight Masquerade collection, they have lipsticks too, but all of these lip all of the lipsticks with that collection were liquids so let me go ahead and show you that these lipsticks are named after um these ladies love interest so this one is called prince naveen and then this one's called phoebus wonder boy and the next two are these two are my favorite they're super brown girl friendly, like easy nudes. They're like beautiful pinky nudes. So this one is, uh, let me see. This one is Flynn and this is like so brown girl friendly. At least for me, I don't need a lip line or anything. I can literally toss this on and it looks beautiful. It's a really pretty pink nude. And then this one I also recently acquired <laughs> and it's called Beast. And it's also a really pretty brown girl friendly pink nude. And then the very last one is the very, very first ColourPop and Disney collaboration. It was first, it was literally the first thing I ever bought from ColourPop. And that is the Disney Designer Collections. And this is called It's a Princess Thing. So it was a whole makeup collection inspired by Disney princesses. I don't know if you can see them on here. This is my favorite palette. This is the palette that I use the most. I love this palette. 
I kind of wish I would have bought two maybe. Um, but yeah, these are the colors and you can see that some of them mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, are very, very, very well used. I, I love this palette. I, I truly do. It is my favorite, favorite Disney palette out of all of these palettes. <laughs> so these are all the lipsticks that match with the eyeshadow palette. Um, they are cream, I think. I think they're all cream lipsticks. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for sticking through to the end. I'm laughing because my armpit is literally on lemon and she's like unfazed. Thank you so, so, so much for sticking through to the end. I actually want to stop and take a moment to welcome all of our new subscribers. Hi, how are you? I hope you're having an awesome day. Also, I'll say hi to you guys. I've been here from the beginning. Thank you so much. Um, if you haven't done so already, I mean, you've already watched it in this far, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you will be able to see awesome videos like this every Friday. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for stopping by to take a breath with me. I'll see you in my next one.